three for five from downtown, five for eight overall. Cutting is LeBron. Throw it down, big guy. Woo! Nice dot. Pack. Oh, LeBron's gonna get it, but he can't finish. Yes, he Loose can. basketball. Now he scores. LeBron. <laughs> LeBron James with it. LeBron James attacking the basket. He goes all the way. Score! And one! He went up against three! When is this psychopath gonna stop? You're not supposed to be doing this at 38 years old. We've never seen someone play dang near like an MVP for two whole decades. What LeBron is doing now has never been done before. LeBron is not done yet in his pursuit of the GOAT title. LeBron is less than 600 points away from overtaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the NBA's all-time points leader. At this current pace, he needs to play just a bit over 20 more games to achieve this. The door for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's GOAT case is slowly being shut as the days of Jabbar holding down the scoring crown come to an end. When LeBron inevitably passes him, what more does Kareem have to keep his name in the GOAT discussion? When we generally take a look at who people think the NBA's GOAT is, Kareem isn't the most popular pick. Based off of no real research, and only what I've personally observed, about 60% of people generally believe Michael Jordan is the GOAT. Majority of these believers are over the age of 40, and swore Michael Jordan was Jesus Christ in a basketball jersey. And if these fans love to do anything, it's trash LeBron and never shut up about MJ's finals record 6-0. Next, we have the second group of people. I would say about 35% of basketball basketball fans believe that LeBron James is the GOAT. These people are normally about 30 years old or under and have most likely never actually seen MJ play in real life. Majority of these fans have only watched one YouTube highlight reel of Jordan and swear they know everything about this man. And if these fans love to do anything, it's talk about how prior to 2003, the league was filled with plumbers and mailmen. Now the next group of people we have consists of only about 3% of fans, and they believe Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is the GOAT. These fans are rare and going extinct, probably for good reason. They're probably over the age of 50. The beliefs of Kareem fans align closely to Jordan fans. They both love to disrespect LeBron. Although Jordan fans have enough competency to have LeBron top 2 all time, Kareem fans take it to a whole nother level. A typical top 10 list of a Kareem fan would be something like Kareem at 1, MJ at 2, and LeBron somewhere like number 8. Kareem fans are like more extreme anti-modern era fans compared to Jordan fans. And the last group of people, which makes up the remaining 2%, are, we'll call them the outcast, because they believe someone completely different like Kobe, Bill Russell, Will Chamberlain, or Magic Johnson is the GOAT. And they swear they have some Area 51 unheard of basketball intelligence or something that no one knows about this player. If anything's true, there's no convincing this person otherwise that someone else could even be considered the GOAT. All right, that's the end of my spiel. Like I mentioned before, LeBron this season is in striking range of stealing Kareem's throne of the all-time scoring leader. After this happens, what else does Kareem have to put him in the conversation? There are a few certain categories that a basketball player can have that can make their name special in the GOAT debate. The main two categories that give a player significant leverage in this debate are peak and longevity. This means the GOAT title either belongs to the player that either had the highest performance of any player for a few seasons or the player that had great performance for a very long period of time. Some of these lower ranking categories that a player could dominate to give them an edge over their competition for a shot at the GOAT debate are stats, awards, championships, iconic moments that are too memorable to ignore, or innovation of the game. For example, some random delusional fan that believes Wilt Chamberlain is the GOAT will most definitely bring up Wilt's untouchable stats as their main argument. Someone who thinks Bill Russell is the GOAT will certainly use his 11 rings as their main argument. Someone who, God forbid, thinks Steph Curry is the GOAT will use the fact that he influenced the whole generation of NBA talent and completely changed the play style of the NBA as their main argument. So, who dominates these certain areas? This chart shows us the combined points, rebounds, and assists from Jordan, LeBron, and Kareem. I was going to add steals and blocks to this, but unfortunately the league didn't start tracking that until 1974. As we can see here, it looks like Kareem has the highest peak and LeBron has the best longevity. But this graph doesn't tell us the whole story. The era you play in and the team you play for matters. Why do I say this? Kareem played in an era with a very fast pace, meaning there were more possessions per game on average. Not only that, but Kareem also played in the weakest era in terms of talent. Half of the professional basketball players in America at the time were 
were in the ABA and basketball as a sport wasn't as developed as it is today. Besides Kareem in the 70s, there was a void of talent in the league. Michael Jordan happened to play in one of the slowest paced eras on one of the slowest playing teams in the league. LeBron throughout his career has mostly played in an average paced league with the most talented competition of any era. So to balance the pace out, I created this exact same chart but per 100 possessions. Hypothetically, if each three players were to play with the same amount of possessions, this is what their totals would look like. MJ triumphs over the competition. What really amazes me is how MJ was able to average 37 points in a season, let alone 30 plus points in multiple seasons, while playing with possession counts in the low 90s. Something that's almost as scary as MJ's godlike numbers is LeBron's trajectory. If you really look at it, there's really no signs of aging looking at LeBron's numbers. There's barely any decrease. To really throw a cherry on top, I'm gonna show you guys the same career trajectory graph, but with the advanced stat PER. The stat shows how productive and efficient a player is while he's on the floor. Can you guys see a theme in these charts? MJ has the highest peak of any player, with LeBron coming awfully close at second. LeBron has by far the best longevity of any player. Kareem, I would say, is second place in that department. If MJ had the highest peak, LeBron has the best longevity. What does Kareem have that's unique? An area where I think Kareem excels the most at is the amount of awards, accolades, totals of stats, and championships he's won. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has the most amount of win shares of all time. This record will most likely not be broken by LeBron who's in second place, but it's not impossible. Kareem has the most MVPs of any single player ever with six. Kareem is third all time in blocked shots despite the stat not being tracked in his first four seasons, which are arguably his best four years. If they were tracked, I think that would put him at first place ahead of Elijah one. Kareem is second all time in all NBA selections with 15, behind none other than LeBron James at 18. Kareem is first in total points, but like we said earlier, that will almost certainly get broken later this season. Kareem has the most all-star selections at 19, but similar to his points, this will most likely be dethroned by LeBron James during next year's all-star game, where LeBron will most likely receive his 20th all-star selection. Another fun fact about Kareem that might leave you in impressed with his longevity is he was the finals MVP in 1971 and in 1985. That time gap is pretty much as long as Jordan's career with the Bulls. Kareem also beat Wilt Chamberlain and Isaiah Thomas in playoff series, two players of completely different eras. These accomplishments sound good to talk about, but at the end of the day, do they really contribute anything significant to Kareem's GOAT case? The door for Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's GOAT case is slowly being shut down as LeBron continues to extend his reign of greatness season after season. Until just recently, to not have Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the GOAT discussion would be silly. Until recently, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was the pinnacle of longevity in an NBA career. Until just recently, the debate was between Michael Jordan's peak or Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's longevity. Until a man who goes by the name of LeBron James redefined what consistent, long-term, an everlasting greatness looks like. The days of Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's GOAT case are coming to an end, and there's one player to blame for it. The player that rightfully stole Kareem's main argument for GOAT considerations. His once thought of untouchable longevity got more than just touched by LeBron, it got stomped on. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar has some of the most incredible numbers, awards, and achievements of all time, no doubt. However, once LeBron James inevitably passes Kareem in various different categories, most notable being his career point total, I think it's time for the Kareem GOAT cases to come to an end for good.